What's up YouTube, Speedy Superior here once again with another video. This time on a video that a subscriber suggested. I know that last week I hardly uploaded any videos, the reason being that I was um, away the whole week the whole week and I was unable to be near the computer and I was still trying to catch up because I do got another channel that I do work for. So um Let's see, uh, this is a Pokemon that a subscriber suggested me to do, which was Venusaur, and honestly, Venusaur was on my schedule to do anyway, and, cause it's a very interesting Pokemon and stuff, and I hardly use Venusaur, but it is, I do have sets for Venusaur that I've tried before, when it, the times that I used them back in X and Y, and beginning of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, that I used in battles that actually worked for me, so, this is the, the sets I'd like to share with you guys today. And stuff so I'm gonna just get started with the first set I, I first did and this was this one okay so I decided to go with bold nature because if you look at Mega Venusaur stats whenever a Mega evolves it does get a 123 base defense and 120 base special defense and an increase onto the special attack which puts it up at 122 and what is it its attack also increases to 100 so it can be a kind of a physical attacker as well but I, I invested it 124 into the hit points and then 132 into the defense and just full on special attack because you do want to have the most of out of the power as possible that you want and the ability is thick fat meaning that any ice or fire moves are going to be what is it halved and it won't do as much damage and normally those are that covers pretty much a lot of the Venusaur's weaknesses because its weaknesses is flying psychic um fire ice so it leaves it leaves Venusaur with only two weaknesses which is psychic and flying and the ice and fire are just basically weakened obviously you need the Venusaurite which is the mega stone for Venusaur and the moves I decided to go with was I'm gonna start off with sleep powder okay you might want to use sleep powder at first I know I hate the accuracy this is why I hate sleep powder and stuff and I wish there were, it had more accuracy to be honest I mean Venusaur is a big plant so I figure it would be much easier for Venusaur to spread powder around but um Let's see, I wish it did have more accuracy, but unfortunately it doesn't, so... But I run Sleep Powder on Venusaur, so you're able to get your opponent asleep. You're able to set up the Leech Seed, and then you're able to just Giga Drain Sludge Bomb onto them and force a switch, basically. So you get some damage off on, on some Pokemon that might be switching in, and it could be Focus Sash. Just watch out if it's like a Steel type that's coming in, and if they have one in the other team, you might want to stick to Giga Drain. Uh, a lot so you're able to break some focus sashes and stuff that they may have on the other team and uh, obviously you could also try to predict that they're switching out and just leech seed the incoming pokemon and that breaks their sash too because leech seed activates whenever they they switch and it drains life that same switch so <clears throat> this is the very first set that I use, and this is my mo this is one of my most favorite ones. But there's another one that I really like that's gonna that I'm gonna talk to you about in a little bit. And let's see, moving on to the second one. This is more of a physical attacking Venusaur where I went for Adamant Nature because you do want the most out of the physical attack since it's just base 100. So I invested fully onto the attack, fully onto the hit points, and just simply fall onto the defense. And obviously I already explained the ability and item and you're going to be having Sword Stance. I know that Venusaur also gets Curse over here, which but... It increases attack and defense but lower speed. You don't want to lower your speed because it is slow enough as it is. Well, it is baity speed, meaning that you you have that Dragonite speed. But um, you don't want your speed lowered any more than what it already is because you are you are pretty fast to start with. So I decided to go with just so, simply Sword Stance. And then Knock Off, which is a very competitive move that everybody is using. Um, because everybody in competitive battling has an item, so knockoff it's gonna be used is gonna be doing double damage if the other opponent is holding an item and also removes the item, unless the other opponent is trying to get rid of the item to use acrobatics. So um, then I decided to go with power whip instead of Leech Seed. The reason being that you need a grass type move since you're increasing your your attack, and I didn't want to do Petal Blizzard and stuff because I mean you could do it. Okay, there's power whip. And there's also a pedal, pedal blizzard over here, but um, if you're doing this in double battles, this move is going to be hitting your, your own Pokemon as well. 
So I prefer going for Power Whip even though it's an 85 base accuracy. It's not that bad, it's okay, but it does do 120 base power, which is really good. And just lastly, I gave it Earthquake as the last slot move, so it has more coverage as well. That's this second set, and then just doing the moving on to the next one, which is another of my favorite that you could also it mega evolve this Venusaur and like make it look good. Which is this one's more for double battles, okay? So I recommend you bringing it in with a drop Pokemon, for example, Ninetales. Um, you can bring it bring in this Pokemon along with Ninetales because Ninetales does get drought. And it will activate your chlorophyll ability, which is Venusaur's hidden ability, which doubles your speed. And obviously, since it doubles your speed, I I went for Timmy Nature and invested fully onto speed and fully onto special attack. And let's see, I gave it leftovers, but I mean, you could also give it Citrus Berry uh, on this Venusaur if you wanted to. I just prefer leftovers over Citrus Berry. And... I gave it growth, okay? So in the sun, growth increases your attack and special attack by two stages. So it's like a sword stance or a nasty plot in the sun. And the drought's gonna be already activated because nine tails, when it comes in, it has drought. So then you you use growth after nine tails comes in and then you start attacking, okay? And you have protect this last slot because protect's like a staple on this Pokemon, meaning that everybody in double battle needs to have protect because you could uh, just one protect could save you from losing a Pokemon in double battles and stuff and Sludge Bomb and Giga Drain which are the other moves and stuff and for like, explaining Giga Drain if you don't know it recover over here explains saying it recovers 50% of the damage that deals on the other Pokemon and then Sludge Bomb having a 30% chance to poison a target which means that you're most likely to get a, a poison target with Sludge Bomb than another poison type move that's pretty much it for Venusaur. These are the sets I use. Um, if you really like them, you can use them and stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you like Venusaur, just give this video a thumbs up. Or you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's more future videos coming up. And you have an amazing day until I upload the next one. It is a rainy day today. So just bear with me and thank you.